guys welcome back to the channel as promised i'm going to explain why selling your omi now and buying back later just doesn't work it sounds good it even looks good when you type it but it's not a strategy uh, that is effective especially over the long term uh, in fact it can cause a lot more harm than good and I've seen this time and time again uh, but firstly let me explain to you guys what many people are actually talking about when they say this right uh, so I'll give an example here so let's say you bought Omi at this price area here so again I'm going to circle it just to make it clear for you for all of you so let's say you bought Omi at this area here last year in August and price went all the way up here in October and you decided to sell right congrats as you see if you sold there it would have been the right decision although price obviously would have bounced up there and then we've seen we've seen price where it currently is now um now of course you're probably wondering well how can someone predict that predict that price would go to this area here and then likely sell off well they'll be using something called a fibonacci extension i can guarantee you this area here is probably the 61.8 uh, let's just measure it up and have a look there we go 61.8 61.8 fibonacci tool right and this is a good strategy to use when taking profits and it's a good strategy to use when you're trading uh, cryptos or stocks or you know doesn't matter what you're trading it's always good over the long term right buy low and sell at a decent area and take profits and run off into the sunset okay what you just saw there you can see it works it looks good and if you learn uh, how to use fib you learn how to take profit then i guess is a strategy that can be used over and over again but the second part is buying again at a lower price right and this is where things go wrong especially when you're looking at projects like omi and you're look, you know even when you're looking at projects like bitcoin and you know projects uh, that people uh, deem as valuable over the long term right i'm going to give you a classic example right just to wrap just to uh, let you guys know exactly what i'm talking about so what we can do here is we're going to go back I, again i was going to go back to 2009 but i'm going to um i'm going to talk about 2017 right so as you guys can see bitcoin had a lovely rally price pulled back um and as you can see this actually would have been a good area to buy at. if you ignore all of this it, ignore all of this but technically this would have been a great strategy to a great level to buy at because this is actually a 61.8 uh, fib area here which indicates a good buying opportunity unfortunately price did fall lower so it went from six thousand uh, all the way down to three thousand dollars and then you could see here in 2019 price went up to fit uh, to thirteen thousand went all the way back down and went as low as uh, uh, four thousand dollars again and then of course in 2021 we saw price go up to sixty nine thousand dollars now this is why and again i don't want i don't want this to be long-winded i don't want anyone to get confused i'm just going to prove to you why that strategy just isn't a great strategy over the long term and for the majority of people that are involved in omi or any cryptocurrency at that in fact so again let's say you bought bitcoin you bought bitcoin here let's say you, got, you did everything right you bought bought bitcoin at three thousand dollars on in uh, december the 18th of 2018 right so you waited for price to go low and you let's say you managed to get the best entry possible then you buy price all the way back up to uh the the, the next fib area and let's say you take profit at thirteen thousand dollars and the reason why you sold is because you believe price is going to go lower well guess what price does go lower price goes back up price goes back down to four thousand but guess what happens you never truly know where the bottom is so most people probably were waiting for price to go back up back to three four again or they're waiting for price to maybe go to two thousand two thousand dollars etc and guess what it doesn't happen and then when price takes off again goes back up to twelve thousand well then you're definitely not going to buy because you're expecting 
price to maybe go back to six or 4,000 again for you to get your entry. And guess what happens? It never does. It goes up to 10, 15, goes back up to all time highs, price goes up, up, and then it goes to 69,000. Guess what guys, you missed the opportunity to buy Bitcoin at 4,000. Uh, in fact, you managed to buy it at 3,000 but or 2,000, but guess what? Because you wanted to sell it at 13 to take profit, and wait for a better entry, you missed the entire move, right? This entire move up to $69,000. And I think this is the same example that will likely happen with OMI. People, again, will sell. Let's just say you managed to sell at this area. Well done, you've made a decent profit. Price goes low, no, but no, you're not gonna buy at this area. You're gonna wait for price to go lower and lower and lower and lower. And do you know what happens? This happens, price, breaks back above this resistance, goes back up to this area and then takes off and you miss the entire move. And this happens time and time and time again. And if you're one of, and let's say you're watching this and saying, well, not me, fair enough. You may be one of the lucky minority, the 0.01% of people that can time the market precisely and accurately to, to a T that's great if it works for you it works for you but i would say for someone like myself who i consider myself a technical purist uh very good at reading technical tools using technical tools have over you know 10 years of experience uh in the market itself not just uh you know all markets commodities foreign exchange stocks etc even myself with all that experience would say is a fool's game to try and time the market precisely, especially when you're in a project for the long term. If you're in this for the sh short term, you don't really care about the project, you've sold and you say to yourself, okay, I'm happy to buy at a level that I deem fit. Well, that's fine because if price does take off, it doesn't matter because you weren't too invested in the project anyway. But if you're someone that is in this for the long term, you, you're honestly gonna feel sick when you do see uh, this bottom out, which you will never know when it does, take off and then make all time highs. All you're gonna to say to yourself is, wow, I once owned a bag at X price and I sold at this price. And because I was waiting for the bottom, I miss the entire move. Please don't let this be you. Um, don't be fooled by the comments of people saying, you know, I sold and, and now I'm gonna get an entry at a cheaper price, etc. It, it sounds good, it looks good, but you are very unlikely to repeat and replicate that perfect and precise timing of the market, which is why dollar cost averaging is, in my opinion, one of the best strategies. Now, of course, as I just explained in the previous video, just to wrap up uh, this video, um, of course, you could tie, you could say, I'm gonna wait for the market to hit 100 mil. I already have an OMI bag. I wait for the market to hit maybe a market cap of 100 million uh, and then I'll get for, uh, I'll find a, an entry then that's different but when you're purely just saying I'm going to sell all of my bag then I'm going to wait for price to hit 100 mil once it hit 100 mils I'm going to put all my money in again and then I'm going to sail off into the sunset again it sounds good but typically it's not the best idea but anyway guys let's leave it there for now i hope you all enjoyed my omi videos for today if you did share this with the community don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget to click the bell notification icon so you can stay updated for my all my recent videos remember guys nothing that you see in this video is financial advice always make sure to do your own research and as always guys join the telegram group so you can stay updated with all my recent updates news updates technical updates and much much more until the next video guys sees the day.